How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, if you, you can't see, say that? wait, 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 wait. If you see someone attractive, all right, oh. and it goes, how you doing? Oh. So you have to hit the connotation. <laughs> and this is how we do it. So you don't do this at all. No. There's nothing no, in have, America that. Exists. This is never considered a meal. This is a, subs a, a side to whatever you're eating. Hey, everybody. I am here today with somebody from New York, actually from Long Island, and he can tell you more where that exactly is. But it's Artie. Artie, say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, see. <laughs> so, Artie, actually, can I get you to stand up again for a moment and turn around and show everybody oh, your yeah. back? Yeah. GFNY. Grand Fondo, New York. New York. It's a big race out of New York in May. Starts on the lower level of the George Washington Bridge. It heads up towards the upper end of New Jersey. It's presently 85 miles of hills. It's a nice ride. It's a race. If you've ever watched the Tour de France or you've watched the Giro d'Italia, you've always been able to see it from the sidelines. The thing that's nice about the GFNY is you are actually a participant. You're a racer. You're treated like a racer. The whole scenario is set up to make you feel like you're a participant in, in either the Giro or the Tour. You have neutral support. If you get a flat, you can literally stand there looking helpless for about three minutes. And then some guy on a motorcycle or a car will pull up and you've never seen anyone change a tire so fast. You'll have you, they'll have you back on the road and back pedaling really quickly. This is really cool. This is, you're doing this next weekend. I'm doing this uh, the third week in May. It's the third Sunday in May. The so it's not week next. It's not this weekend coming. It's the following weekend. Yeah. And so you came to Adelaide to train for the Grand Fondo New York. Well, I came to Adelaide because my daughter had set this trip up for me, and she had planned it. So it was a week before the GFNY. Yeah. And her thinking, which I was very happy with, is she told me. You need, you're always talking about training for the GFNY. Why not train in the cycling mecca of Australia, which is Adelaide? Yeah. So here I am. So here you are. And let me tell you what, if I had known then what I know now, I would be here two weeks before the race <laughs> pedaling every day because you guys win. I mean, let me tell you, the course here is brutal. It's, brutal. It's, I mean, it's training, it's fun. But I have some serious work to do when I get home. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you what. <laughs> that first rail we hit, I was like, oh, I'm not even going to say it because it'll get censored. <laughs> I'll tell you, for those of you who know, we took Artie on the, uh, on the Bello Bello Way and the first climb, and you guys know who <laughs> in the Bello Way is. <laughs> yeah. <always> like... <laughs> I'm on a rented bicycle. I'm not even on mine. The gearing is not what I'm used to. And I got to the top going, okay, I got to put my lungs back in my chest because they're about to, you know what, across my face. So, yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. So, so tell me, this is your first time in Australia. You've yeah. never been to Australia before? Never, right? no. never. I've only seen it on some movies and Australian television from Netflix. Yeah. So, it's a blast. You guys, you guys got it. I mean, no comparison. You guys have it. I mean, just the, the people, um, the way of living, the guys know how to have a good time. New Yorkers, they always say, okay, you know, it's a city that never sleeps and you're always geared. I mean, you it's a New York minute, things get done immediately, but they say, okay, you know, we'll go to the bar and we'll relax, but you don't. You know, you, who wants to go to a bar? And... Yeah. Do you get anything like that in New York? No. <laughs> no. 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 Not even close. <laughs> What a perfect day for it. You, you were also teaching me um, how to speak New York. Oh, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How, you doing? how, you I, how do have, I, I got that right? Right. How, how you, you doing? doing? How you doing? You can have an entire conversation with how you doing. So I just go, how you doing? How you doing? How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? No, 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 no. Oh, if you, you can't see, say that? wait, 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 wait. If you see someone attractive, all right, oh. and it goes, how you doing? Oh. So you have to hit the connotation correct. So if I say, how you doing, that means I find that the person. Exactly. What if you don't find them attractive and, and you just like. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, you so just, that's like, I'm quick, like. How you doing? How you, how you doing? doing? So you can get the mood of somebody or yeah. how you feel about them by the, right. how you doing? And how you doing? How you, how you doing? How you doing? Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's like cycling with Sarafina. How you doing? So you how? haven't said that yet. 
How you doing? How you doing? Hey everyone. No, I wish I wouldn't say that. I'd say, how you doing? Is that how I'd, 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 yeah. I'd Then you get a t-shirt, cycling with Sarah Pina. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and, this is, and this is how we do it. So you don't do this at all. No. There's nothing no, in have, America that, that... This is never considered a meal. This is a, subs a, a side to whatever you're eating. Yeah, I've been a desert, or you get chips with it or a hot dog or something like yes. that, and sausage no, on hot a stick. Dogs. It's like, no. You no, don't have sausage on a stick? No, they're hot dogs, and you, if you read the ingredients, you would never eat them. Well, this is true, yeah, this is true. <laughs> That's so crazy. And so everything, so you wouldn't, is this, does this seem like not fancy enough, like not no. sophisticated enough? No, no, no. This is just like, you I just, just don't, don't, do it. Don't, don't do it. The Americans just don't do it. I guess. I mean, I wouldn't group us all in one month, <laughs> I'm but... grouping you all. Okay. <laughs> no, that's cool. I've got a couple of things I want to cover with you today. I put up a post on Facebook on the weekend to say that Cycle with Serafina is taking a break for a little bit because I desperately need to source some funding and some sponsorship to keep Cycle with Serafina going because it's basically a full-time job and I love what I do, just celebrating cycling, promoting cycling, sharing cycling here in Adelaide and South Australia and all the amazing bike paths we've got, the rides we've got and the people that we have that ride and are so enthusiastic about cycling. We're the cycling capital of Australia right so I want to keep it going I need to focus on getting the funding and the sponsorship so I'm just going to be putting it on hold while I do that if anyone out there is interested in sponsoring or funding or you know somebody an organization who might be please get in touch I'll put my details in the description below so please do that we do not have bike paths the way you have bike paths I'm, I get out of the hotel there's a bike path 200 feet from the hotel and I don't have to worry about cars. And trust me, when I'm on the wrong side of the road, okay, because in New York you're on the right, in Australia you're on the left, and I get to the intersection and I'm looking the wrong way, it's nice not having to worry about turning into a hood ornament because you're doing something stupid. It, this, the riding is amazing. I mean, you just don't have the courses that you have here that we have. You just don't have it. I mean, the Velo Way, I looked at that hill going, but you know a few times into it it wouldn't be a problem but looking at it now I was like uh oh I forgot to get Artie to talk about Long Island before when we were chatting and I'm like oh I need you to tell people about Long Island because I didn't really know much about Long Island or where it was so Artie tell people where Long Island is. Okay if you go to New York City and you have New York, um, Connecticut, New Jersey we're an island off the coast it's approximately 120 miles long to the forks on either end and can't really I'm just guessing like 30 miles wide I've only lived there forever and I have no idea how wide it is but most of the rides you, it's very you can't get lost I mean no matter which way you go you're going to hit water eventually so but on the north shore where you see Long Island Sound that's where all our hills are the south shore which faces the Atlantic Ocean that's where it's very flat but we have the really nice beaches I mean I'm sure most people have heard of the Hamptons where all the rich and famous hang out and one time when I was out there at a pharmacy, um, somebody was two people behind me, and all I could think of was, why is James Bond ordering a prescription? <laughs> and when I turned around and looked, trying not to look, it was Sean Connery. It really was. It was Sean Connery. It was Sean Connery. Yeah. No way. That's so cool. I'm standing there going, 
really want to ask for his autograph, but I'm not going to. <laughs> that's not cool. Yeah, that's, no, I'm, giving, I'm letting him cut some slack. And then... Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, won't you? What you you said when you went to an American burger? Oh God! Tell everybody. So, in Adelaide, there's a place called the American Burger Joint, and I'm walking through it, and I was like, I'll give it a go. And I walked in, and I looked at the menu, and I was like, I didn't know we ate this. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad for the people behind the counter. Can I help you? I'm like, no. <laughs> I can help you, actually. I'll tell you what we eat. <laughs> no, and then I leave. And then shopping is fun because, obviously, with, from New York, I do not have an Australian accent. And all I could think of was, don't anyone talk to me? I want to get in. I want to get out. And, of course, I get to the register to pay for everything. And the lady met in front of me starts a conversation. And I start talking to her. And her eyeballs get big. And it's like... Oh, boy. You're not Australian. We had a wonderful conversation. She was very polite. <laughs> and that was about it. But things are different here. Good different, not bad yeah. different. And I'm still trying. And, of course, you know, I'm only here a week, which is moronic. But by the time I leave, I will have been getting used to everything you do here. So then I have to go home and get unused to it and then get used to people honking horns at me and screaming and you know all the fun things so yeah so it's easier to be a cyclist here in Adelaide than, than South Australia yeah absolutely yeah. and just being here a couple of days I mean if I had again not to sound like a broken record but if I had known now what I knew I have known then what I know now it would be two weeks I would have been here two weeks with my own bicycle a week before the GFNY and by the time I was done after two weeks the GFNY would not have been a breeze, but it would have been a lot easier. Because the thing with the, with the Grand Fondo New York, if you don't train for it, you're not, you will finish, your body will hate you, you're, you will be a physical wreck at the end of it. And I tell people all the time, the race starts after the second rest stop to the third rest stop, because that's where all the, the pain comes in. You have hills, shorts, not like here, I mean, the Velo Way was brutal, okay? You have short, steep hills. It's a tough course, you know? They're going this, using this year's as a uh, trial run for next year's pro race. They're setting it up so the pros will start off before the, regu you know, the regular riders. I mean, if you guys can do this religiously, Save your pennies. Go to the GFNY next year. You will kick some serious butt. <laughs> we should do that. Well, maybe we need to have a GFSA. G yeah. South Australia. <laughs> I mean, the GFNY in Australia and Adelaide, you'd crush it. You would yeah, crush it. Yeah. You would have to have a, a check-off as far as how many people you could literally do it. Because just from what I've seen on the cycling culture, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy. That I mean, sounds fun. Like, it sounds fun to come and do it in New York. I, I, everything it, you've described, I'm like, I want to go and do that. I would love to come to New York and do the GFN You line. could, but like five miles after the ride start, I'd be waving goodbye to you. <laughs> you'd disappear with everyone else. Come on, Artie. I'd be like, see you at the finish. <laughs> Yeah, what I love as well is that we got in touch. You got in touch. Um, oh, I got in touch along, with you. Yeah, a long, a long Six time ago. ago. Yeah, to say, hey, I've seen the channel, yeah. seen cycling in, in Adelaide, and then we've just been keeping in touch. Sure. And we said, I'm coming over, um, and then here you are, and yeah. we're going for a ride. And is it everything that you thought that it would be, or more? More. more. 
Absolutely more. I mean, absolutely more. It's you. I can't describe. It. Yeah. I just really can't describe. It. I mean, it's bad when you're sitting at your hotel room on the balcony with your feet up, reading a book, looking at the sunset over the Indian Ocean, going, "I really don't want to go home." And you know, it's for personal reasons. I haven't been able to relax for 12 years, and for one reason or another, and. You know, like my daughter, she put this ride together for me. She put this trip together for me. She's like, Dad, just yeah. go. You know, just go. So I did. And now she's like, Dad, you have to come home. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, would I like it there? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it does. There's something about South Australia. It has this effect on you that you're just like, oh, I just... I fell in love. I'm from New Zealand. I fell in love with yeah. it here as well. It's, there's something uh -oh. special about it. It's... It's not anything I'm used to. I don't, it's one of those things where, you know, you go on vacation and you're there for two weeks and by day seven, by eight, you're like, yeah, I'm done. I want to go home, you know, let's just bag this and get back on the plane. I've only been here and I'm going to myself. I don't want to go home. I mean, I'm having a blast. I went for a ride yesterday and I didn't want to stop.